Howdy folks, how's it going? Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen, it's Barry here and today we're tasting some more treats from around the world. Uh, it's the turn of the Netherlands today. Uh, Daniela Tharat has sent me this box and it's full of treats. I can't wait to get stuck in there. But let's have a little quick reminder of where we've been before. So we started off in the good old UK, and in fact we did that twice. Then we went to Australia, Germany, Singapore, New Zealand, USA, and Spain. And all of those treats have been mind-blowingly good and unique in their own way, and I've got more down there, including Brazil, Japan, I've got Norway, Canada, two packages from Canada arrived this morning, there's two more at the post office I've got to collect, so thank you so much. Yep, so Daniela lives in Holland, and I'm just gonna get this straight out of the way. I kind of hope there's nothing too herbal in there, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, she lives in a place called uh, Maastricht, look, there's a statue there, uh, and a big building, and Maastricht to me sounds sort of like the thing that a raster would say if they were a teacher, and they were trying to like, over their dominance on their first day. Hey man, I know it's our first day in class, but listen up man, if you annoy me, I am Maastricht, huh? Maastricht. No. Okay, let's get going. The first thing that I saw was this package. I was like, ooh, what could be in this mysterious thing? And I thought, wow, it's edible bracelets. Uh, but Daniela luckily told me that these are for Phoebe and Chloe as a present, so uh, I don't have to eat them, and that would have probably been awkward. Right, so first up is something called smolgies, which appear to be sort of chocolate covered biscuits with like bright coloured things on the top. But the thing that stands out straight away is there is a Martian doing some sort of international Martian mating call like that to this astronaut and he has fell for his charms. On the back there's a little cartoon and you can see he seduced him and abducted him ultimately. So uh, anyhow, let's try these out. Oh yes, they're individually packed. I love it when they're like this because then it's good for my own portion control. Nice foil packed freshness. <laughs> Let's get in there. Okay, great, so they look just like they do on the cover. Let's have a bite into it straight away. It would be rude not to. Mmm, that was fun. Oh. Mmm. There's like this really soothing, velvety texture of the biscuit. This mild, dainty cream, I'm not sure what it is. Maybe it's like Dutch special sauce. We won't go there. Chocolate cover, just lovely, like subtle, and these crispy shells. So, so good. Mmm, that was a mm, fantastic start. Mm. So to go along with those, there's these Prince mini stars, apparently they're very similar. I don't want to talk about it too much because the Prince is very attractive for a cartoon. It's quite intimidating, uh, but these again are like in a little foil wrapper. So let me get them out, just check. Mm -hmm. Very similar as you can see, but no crispy shell on the top and like a star shape. Let's bite straight into it. Oh, the same. Biscuit is a little bit more crunchy, but <clears throat> the Prince did good too. Yeah! Right, so next up by Red Band are some sweets called Fruit Fun, which actually be quite a good idea for the name of a talk show for fruit. You know, it could be like, today's guest is Mr. Pineapple! Let's hear from Mr. Pineapple! No, okay. Uh, so they're apparently hard sweets, they're a bit like love hearts here in the UK, so maybe like a sherbet kick, but maybe a little bit more fruity. So, uh, let's get into them, shall we? That's what I'm supposed to be doing, right? Oh, sorry about that guys, uh, literally the door just went again and another parcel has arrived so uh, that is how crazy it is at the moment. But anyway, I'll just open these up and it's like a rainbow of colours, it's like a rainbow coalition of hard fruit sweetie kind of things. Although the red brand, they've made sure they've stamped their name on these sweets, it's kind of like Kit Kat, you know, we're going to make them know that we made these chocolates. So red band, their name are all over them. Let's try this pink one. Come. Oh, wow. That's very hard. It's kind of like edible fruity chalk. Oh, okay, yeah, that did grow on me eventually. At first, as I say, it was like eating chalk, you know, from a chalkboard, but with a little bit of a fruity essence. But as I broke it down with my teeth, <clears throat> probably have another one actually, it was good. It was, it was, um, it was tasty. I probably wouldn't eat it again. There's not too much fizz in there, but it's kind of like bland. And a bland is good sometimes. While we're talking about Red Band, here's another product from them called Shat. Kisties, which sounds like something you would say if you ring up the doctors and you're not feeling well and you're a little concerned. Hi, um, I think I've got shat kisties. So yeah, on the front cover there is a parrot dressed as a pirate protecting a treasure chest, as you do. In fact, Pirates of the Caribbean, why didn't they just employ parrots? It would have been a lot cheaper than the actors. It probably could have been Pirates of the Caribbean. I'm just trying to think of some famous people that could actually be in Pirates of the Caribbean. Maybe uh, Justin Beaker? Oh, right, fantastic. So they are actually in the treasure chest. The parrot on the front is not lying. My girls are absolutely going to love these. I have to take the sweets out. Well, I might be let them have a few of them, but uh, wow, they will just put like toys, the bracelets in it, stuff like that. Let's see what's in there. Here we go. Let's get that open. Aha, I feel like I had to do like some sort of pirate noise there to get... I could smell it from like here. Wow, it's like real strong sugary smell in there. They are kind of like gummy, sugary, jelly tot sweet kind of things. <gasps> see the colours there? Well, the colours of the rainbow today Holland, I'm loving the colours of the rainbow. Let's do them all, let's do them all, let's just be crazy. Ooh. 
chewy, soft, sugary. Uh, uh, uh. All right. I don't know how to describe what just happened really. It was kind of like the smell of the sugar, as you saw, was stronger than the taste of it. It was very like a soothing, like jelly sweet, really good. But I kind of like wanted to start boxing. It made me quite angry for a little bit. I had to go have like a five minute rest. It's like old school boxing, you know, like that in the olden days. Okay, so next up is something called Specaloos, and Daniela actually apologised on one of the postcards because she could only find ones with Winnie the Pooh on. But to me, you know, I wouldn't have known the difference because all this packaging is new to me. It could have been like a naked nun surfing on a penguin through the streets of New York, and I wouldn't have even known. Uh, but yeah, Specaloos, all good. Winnie the Pooh on the front cover, or if you're old enough to swear, you can call him Winnie the Sh Calcium Caramelised Biscuits. Let's get inside you, Winnie. Uh-huh, individually packed again. Netherlands, I endorse your portion control. In fact, Tigger is on the back uh, playing the role of the nutrition advisor sort of thing. He's, he's not on the front really, so uh, yeah, Winnie got that role. Right, so speck loos let's try some speck of poos Get it? Like Winnie the Pooh? No. Ooh. Oh. Oh my goodness, guys, I just ate the whole thing. That was delicious, it was so subtle. There was a caramel flavor in there, real good crunch to that biscuit. Uh, now apparently it's really popular to give those out around the time when Santa Claus comes around in early December. If you want to know more, uh, check out the Pepper Noten video. Uh, Phoebe and I did ages ago, she really got into it and I got found out a bit more about the story back then. But it's kind of like a Father Christmas character, except instead of reindeers, he has white horse. He has a white horse. How cool is that? You know, that's quite like dominant and also he's a bit like Gandalf, he has a staff. Thou shall not eat my Winnie the Pooh biscuits. Okay, so next up from Autodrop are some Cadillacs. Now, I can't pronounce that word, Bosuctrode, but it's like we talked about on the last video, the Spanish one, where on Spanish packaging you get some English phrases and apparently the majority of you said that you just sort of learn to understand what it is. So gradually all of you are going to become English like me, right? Mm -hmm. Check them out guys, they're kind of diddy. Uh, it's quite cool because I can now say I officially own a Cadillac. I've always wanted them, you know. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, let's try it. Oh, tough. All I can say about those guys is they're tough. There's not too much flavour then, but I was getting into it. I was like having the Cadillac, you know, with the bouncing wheels at the front, like Snoop Doggy Dog. That would kind of go well with these sweets. And they're probably like a nice sort of treat to have in the cinema, what Daniela kind of suggested too. So uh, good for chewing on, maybe good for weight loss. It could just be meat in there. It might just be jerky, I don't know. Jerky Cadillacs. Right, so next up is something called Vens, which apparently is just really uh, chocolate sprinkles. I've had a little look inside, and there's lots of different packs. We've got uh, some like multicolored ones, there's large ones, uh, there's ones with a tiger on the face. So apparently what we do is you serve it on toast, sometimes put some butter on there, sometimes put some Nutella on top of that butter to help them stick to it. I don't need to be told twice about Nutella, so that's what I'm gonna do. So I've quickly made some toast with some butter and Nutella on there on Phoebe's princess plate. No expenses spared. Uh, let's get this packet open. Okay, we're just pouring these sprinkles on. Oh my goodness, that's looking really good. Oh my goodness, I chose the multicolored ones so you could see them stand out a little bit more. I can't wait to taste this. Oh my goodness, by the ear of Vincent van Gogh. Those tasted like um, amazing. I, my man is telling me no, no. It can't be an R. Kelly moment. It tastes so good, but I hardly tasted the sprinkles. They were good, but really it was just eating Nutella on toast. We'll find an R. Kelly. Okay, so next up is a drink called a Flugel. This is an alcoholic vodka energy drink, and it's got an excited duck on the front cover that looks like he may have wandered down the wrong street in Amsterdam late at night. On the back it says, let the duck out, and that is entirely what I intend to do. Apparently there's a method here where you uh, drink it, you put the cap on your nose, no arms, straight in your mouth. So uh, let's do it, shall we? For those of you that don't know, it's my stag do in a few weeks, so uh, this could be quite a useful thing to take along. So I'm gonna wedge that cap on my nose, try not to cut it too much, and then this goes in. <laughs> That's the weirdest thing I ever did, I just suddenly forgot to swallow, I just stood there like that going, right, what do I do? But obviously I'm human, I need to swallow, and maybe that's where the whole duck reference comes from, because I kind of look like a duck. Um, that's uh, that's you know, quite potent, it's, it's not too strong, it's not too bad, it's not underberg territory, it's kind of nice. I feel like an angel. I feel I feel nice. It's maybe a little raspy twang to it. Rude Hullet maybe doing step overs at the World Cup with my big like dreadlocks. I don't know. I'd be happy to take that to my stag do, but I'm sure there's gonna be something worse. Chocolate bar, I see a hazelnut on it, and just like that character in Ice Age, if I see a hazelnut, I'm instantly thinking I'm gonna love it. So is there like a Dutch version of R. Kelly? I'm not still quite that sure, but it looks like a chocolate covered bar here. It says milk on the front. Milk and praline is milk. 
like the Dutch version of the word milk. It sounds kind of like more like Lord of the Rings territory, I don't know. I need some milk, Gandalf. Can you get me two points from the shop? Oh my goodness, that looks good. Right, really looking forward to this. It's got like a bubbly underlayer, kind of like an arrow here in the UK. Mmm, I'm kind of disappointed guys. It's alright, it's obviously chocolate, but when I see the hazelnut on the front, my ears prick up. I'm like, <sighs> I was expecting like a Nutella boom. So one way to make it better is to get some Nutella and literally just dunk it in there like that. Oh, now we're in our candy territory, that's what I'm talking about. Not bad though. Alright, so last up is something called Naturel Cats, which appear to be cat crisps. The internet loves cats, so hopefully the internet and me will like these crisps. So it's got an amazing shredded potato on the front, which has probably been clawed by one of the cats to go along with the packaging, and it says Lekker Hartig Van Smack down below, which is probably quite a cool compliment to say to someone. Lekker Hartig Van Smack? No. I've not eaten pussy cats before, uh, so let's uh, have a go. Oh, a bit of Nutella in my hand. Oh my god. Sorry. <gasps> cats! Oh my goodness, guys, can you see that? They are actually shaped like cats. If I grab a hand, I'm kind of like a mysterious cat lady. You know, one of those people, everyone knows them. They just love cats. I personally hate cats. They always scratch me and stuff like that. <gasps> the smell is amazing. They're looking like pom bear crisps. And I love pom bear crisps. Right, guys, there's only one way to eat these. Let's just have a handful and uh, see what happens. Let me do all the things you want me to do Cause tonight baby, I wanna get freaking with you Oh, sorry guys, we didn't have an R. Kelly moment, but we did have a freak it baby, let me lick you up and down a uh, moment. So, so good, they were just like Pom Bear Chris, or Velvety and Suvin, and in fact, they did taste like pussy. Cats. Uh, so, so good. Loving it. Thank you so much, Daniela, for sending those in. I've really enjoyed that. And as you can see, I've got so many more left down below to get through. If you want to send me some from your country, uh, get in touch via the myvirginkitchen.com website. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share on your social media of choice, subscribe and comment, and I will see you again next time.